had to talk to you because I wanted to know where you got your suit from because it's amazing. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> I was worried about it, you know. I was like, ah, it's fab. Blue? But no, you're into I like it. it. I mean, I like, a blue is my favourite colour, and it's, it's a good shade of blue. Uh, congratulations on the show. Thanks. New recruit. Yeah. Welcome to the monolith that is Bridgerton. Uh, intimidating going into it? It was. It definitely was. It was funny because I, I got cast just before the first series aired, so I knew it was going to be big, but I didn't know it was going to be the phenomenon that it's become. Um, but yeah, everyone's really friendly. I know that's like a cliche and everyone says that, but everyone is actually really friendly. And I knew a couple of people a little bit before and they, I was on the WhatsApp group and stuff. And keep talking about the WhatsApp group. It's like I'm obsessed with the WhatsApp group, but I was on the WhatsApp group. It's a thing now, isn't it? There's like, hey, if all three of the Spider-Man can have a WhatsApp group, you guys can have a, you can have a WhatsApp group. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is true. This is true. Um, but yeah, I think that, that made it much easier to... When I finally met people in person, you know, yeah. it, it, it didn't feel quite so intimidating. Yeah, I mean, it's such a rich story. There's so much going on. There's there's drama. There's comedy. There's romance. There's everything going on. Everything that everybody. It seems to have come at the right time for people, given the the pandemic and things going on in the world. For sure, moment. for sure. I think there's definitely a place for shows that are escapist, and I think it's the great thing about Bridgerton is it manages to do that and also be like culturally relevant. I don't think it's like just fun. I think it's still commenting yeah. in a fun way on on the world today. Um, and that's why it's so popular, I think, because it marries those two things. Yeah. And tell us about your character. How does he? How does he fit into this this crazy world? So he is. He's not. He's not posh. He's not. He's not part of the ton. Um, he's a prince's assistant, and yeah, I think he he kind of, unlike me, who loves watching the scenes with the ton, um, he kind of turns his nose up a little bit or sees it for what some of the like inequalities maybe that that builds that sort of society, um, and is not so keen on. On them, yeah. um, which is you know I think that's why he and Eloise obviously uh, become become friends. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, as you say, a part of the WhatsApp group, but the the cast. I mean, it's so vast that there's friends for life in there, and there's hundreds of friends for life if you if you play it right. Is that how you <laughs> felt now that that there's like a family? Oh, that there yeah, is a completely. massive family. It's crazy. There's some people I didn't meet till the first episode screening we had, like two months ago, because because I didn't because the cast is so big and there's so much stuff going on. But um. Yeah, I've, there's a couple of people that I'm still really close with, and everyone, it's so lovely to see everyone here. And yeah, it's great. They didn't, get, they didn't get to do it last time, I've heard. I know, of the, of the lockdown, I know. So. so it's going to be extra big. That's where we're in the tape. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. I well, wish you all the best. Thank you so much for your time. Pleasure Thanks. talking to you. Cheers. Thanks so much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey You